We're back. Bradley's back. Yes, I decided to come back and show an early painting. This could be one of my earliest paintings I've ever done. It's, it's from the year 2008. The title of the piece is called Indian Summer. Uh, you're not going to believe this. It took me like 20 times. To, this is actually a pretty small canvas. It's like 12 by 16, pretty small. It took me literally about 15, 20 times to get this video right. And I don't even know if it's going to look good on my YouTube channel. I hope it does. If it doesn't look as good as some of my other, uh, <laughs> my other paintings, well, I, that's the best I could do. You know, considering what I'm working with, that's the best I could do. Like I said, it's a pretty small painting. We're talking 12 by 16. It's actually not a soft canvas. It's actually, it's one of the basic ones, a hard plywood with a gesso covered over it and stuff like that. So it's kind of like plywood, really. That's basically what it is, right? Oh, we're up to about a minute. Yeah, I hope this thing works out. Oh my God. Uh, like I said, when I did this painting, my, one of my early paintings, I decided to have kind of a, a late fall type of painting. You got all these beautiful colors. You got the saturations. You got all these beautiful flowers budding here. There's some scratches in the painting. It's got a little scuffed up in storage, so just ignore that. You know? <laughs> anyway, like I said, there's my signature. 2000. It says 9, but it's actually 8. Oh my god. And then if you look real carefully here, there's there's a cabin right back here. Do you see that little cabin? It's hard to see, but there's a cabin there. And it's got a little smoke coming out of the chimney. I got kind of an algae, kind of a greenish water. So it doesn't really yeah, like I said, it's late late summer, early fall. Basically, you ain't gonna get a lot of uh you know the lakes are starting to algae up a little bit and stuff like that. Then you got your pine trees, of course, you know, just typical pine trees, you know, stuff like this. I, I like the background, though. The background, the, the sun, blazing sunset is pretty cool. You got your typical blue sky. You got your sun going down. You got the oranges. You got the yellow. If you look really closely here, all these little black specks, those are little geesties flying through the, <laughs> the area, like little ducks and geesties and stuff like that. It's hard to see. If you look real close, I'm not sure this will pick up on my YouTube channel when you look at it, if you look at it, but they're actually right through this section here. Little black specks. Yeah, you, you, and there's some over here too, actually. I kind of wanted this to be like a late afternoon. You know, you got some of the blue sky still showing, some of the lighter blue sky. Then you got the blazing sunset. The sun is kind of like right down in this general area. It's kind of going down so you really can't see it. And then of course you got your your uh, background pine trees, your, uh, <laughs> look at that, all this stuff back there. I explain this to you every time I do one of these paintings, one of these videos. It's the same shtick over and over and over, right? And, okay, let me see what's going on here. Well, so far, we're not doing too bad. I hope this turns, I hope this video turns out halfway decent. You know, I like this blazing sunset right there with the geese these flying through. That's kind of cool. And of course, the big old cabin. You can kind of make that cabin out a little bit. It's right about there. It's not too bad. Like I said, the lake is kind of like algae covered, stuff like that. And then of course, on this side over here, you have all kinds of the shoreline and flowering buds and flowers and plants and all kinds of stuff. Right here too, you got the shadows coming into the lake right here from the shoreline, stuff like that. I, it's, not, <coughs> it's not my bad. Let me get some water first here. Oh my God, I did four videos this week. I did Spidey Presents, my ranting rowing video, uh, Butcher the Clown came back, and now this one tonight. <sighs> All right, hope this video turns out good. Anyway, I, I, the best part of this painting, I believe, is the, is the sky, the sunset, and all these budding flowers right here. I put a ton of uh, budding beautiful flowers in this section, you know pinks and reds I think you can make that up on the, you can actually see that kind of stuff right there These are reds and pinks and stuff like that. There's some more of the lake right over here And down by I mean I just kind of like saturated really heavy with these type of flowers right in this area Because I wanted to kind of give it like a, like a really beautiful type of uh, uh, tonal uh, Effect you know color wise I should say 
and I think it turned out pretty good. You can see a lot of these white tips here and sticks coming up, you know, highlights and stuff like that. They kind of offset the pink flowers and the buds and everything on these plants. And, you know, a lot of stuff here. Actually, I put a lot of work into this painting back in the day, man. I put a lot of work into this painting. I was pretty proud of it when I put it, when I first, uh, you know, finished it and stuff like that. Like I said, I've gotten so much better since then. The pine trees could have been much better, but you know, when you're kind of starting out, you kind of make some basic mistakes, even though these aren't too bad. Uh, I kind of like, I really, actually, you know, parts I, parts I like the best from this part up and from this part down. I think, I think these pine trees could have been better, but you know, the ones over here too. But I still think the whole thing turned out pretty good. The, the lake is pretty bland looking. Like I said, it's kind of algae looking. So it's not gonna really be vibrant and blue and stuff like that. I kind of like the, sh the lake effects I did right here. The, the shadows into the lake, the shoreline right here. It's not bad. And you got all these zillions of little plants right there. You see them really closely. I try to keep my hands out, my, my big globin hands out of the way. So you can kind of just uh, uh, view it a little bit more. <laughs> Anyway, I like this thing up here. I don't know what that is. Some kind of hump right there. Like it's a maybe a, a line of trees or something way, way in the background. Maybe it's a little mountain range with plants and trees on it. I'm not really too sure. You know, I just kind of... The thing is, when you start painting stuff like this, you kind of just come up with a goofy little story, you know. What's back there? What's this? What's that? What's all these things popping up? They're pine trees and bushes and all kinds of twigs and all kinds of stuff. I'm actually working on a really cool, well, you saw one of my newer paintings called Shadowlands. It's almost done. And then I got a new one called, I got a brand new one and started working on it finally. It's gonna be really <laughs> gloomy. <laughs> you might like that one. Oh, I think my painting skills got much better since I put out this early stuff. And at least, I think so, a little bit better. Uh, I don't, you know, you can sit there and look at it and I like, I like all these little pink flowers. These actually are my favorite part right here. All these pink flowers and stuff and, you know, these buds and, you know, flower arrangements or you want to call them, and, that, and you know, twigs and, oh my, I like them. You got the zillions of little twigs here too. I really love putting in these, see these little white lines? Those are like those sticks and twigs coming up from the ground, of course. And uh, of course, you got the you got the highlights. Some of the highlights on the, the lake, my algae lake, I should call it. Oh my God! Yeah, this painting was in storage for quite a few years. I got a couple of scratches there. This is the best I could do. But it, I mean, I cleaned it up the best I could, and it, it, you know, it held up pretty good storage. Not perfect, but I can actually touch up some of this, which I might do in the near future. You know, just some basic oil paints to kind of. Uh, fade out these little, like little tiny they're really super thin scratches you might not be able to pick that up I can see it right here but you may not be able to pick it up I noticed one right here too so been one going up this way and uh, yeah, they're not too bad I kind of kept you know when I put these in storage I basically kind of you know wrapped them with paper and then plastic bag over the uh, painting which is wrapped in paper and then plastic bag over the over the paper to kind of you know keep the the rubbing and the scratches off them and stuff like that i actually managed to keep my paintings in pretty good shape the ones i worked on from like 2000 to 2013 like this is probably like i said 2008 so i started i was still painting about five more years after this one got finished and uh another thing i'm going to be doing too is uh i have some of my other paintings got scratched up the ones i want to show in the near future so what I'm gonna do is I actually have prints of those framed up at my house, my apartment. And my, I might actually show you what one of the prints looks like. Uh, one called Sunset Bay. You might really like that one. I got it hanging in my hallway. <laughs> I might actually put that, it's on cardboard. Of course, it, I can just take it out of the frame, right? And then put it on the, on the easel, just like, kind of like this. But it's got the title of the painting on the bottom, Sunset. Sunset Bay, Sunset Bay by Bradley Thomas Enfield. And I'm not sure, probably 2009 or 10 or something like that. I'm not even sure. But let's get back to this one. This one's actually not bad. Uh, we're up to about 10 minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, there's really not too, a lot to explain here. 
you know, it's just mainly color. It's just like a, it's just like a smorgasbord of colors. I mean, it's not really, you know, there's not much to talk about unless you want to live in that little cabin right here, you know, and go fishing on the lake and stuff like that, you know, and take your rowboat out and go hunting in the wooded areas way off here somewhere, you know, I don't know, or way the hell over there. I don't know. It's kind of funny. I think that sunset turned out really good, though, because this part right here is actually the sun going down. So it, you can tell that the rest of the sky is quite illuminated with colors and oranges and yellows, blues and stuff like that. And then you can clearly see the sun right there. It's kind of going down, you know, at least the, the glow of the sun, you know, so you can kind of pick that up. It's a lot different looking than the rest of this section right here. And it's more bright right there, which is actually the sun going down. It's like I just said three times. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm kind of getting back into painting again. I'm working on my second painting. Uh, I actually started working on it yesterday. And I got my other one almost about 98% done called Shadowlands, which I you can actually find on my YouTube channel. Uh, maybe about, I don't know, a week or so ago. I can't remember. Yeah, it's okay. You might like that. You might not. It's kind of a gloomy little winter painting, but I kind of like it. Uh, so anyway, the new painting I'm actually working on, like I said, I don't have a title for it. I do not have a title for it. But I've been looking at some of the artwork I see on YouTube, a lot of these really gloomy, doomy type uh, videos, you know. Uh, and I really, I'm getting really inspired by some of those uh, those paintings. Uh, a lot of they're AI, they're digitally, you know, they're they're not really painting. Well, they're actually computer generated paintings, I should say. But they got some beautiful designs, and I'm kind of getting hooked on those. So I might kind of go in that direction a little bit with some of the more gloomy skies, and you know, like a you know castle up on the mountain stuff like that, and. You know, I got some really good ideas poking around in my, my noggins. So basically, I'm, you know, I'm getting re-inspired again. That's the, that's the whole thing. Besides making my Penny, uh, the Lonely Clown videos, and Butcher, and Spidey Presents, and my, my ranting rowing videos, I'm kind of really getting back into painting again. i kind of been re-inspired. Uh, like I said, I started painting again off and on about two months ago when I did that Shadowlands painting. And now I've worked on my second painting, which is a long ways to go on that one. But like I said, I'm, the bug is actually infecting me again, so that's kind of cool. Besides making my other videos, I'm going to keep making my video, I mean my painting video. So, And uh, I, I got some really cool ideas. Like I said, I, I look at all the digital paintings on YouTube and on the internet and I go, man, that stuff is really awesome. I'm sure these people did not paint those those paintings, you know, and they applied spooky music to them and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it's all ge uh, it's generated uh, images and stuff, you know, on the internet, stuff like that, you know. But that's okay. I'm actually going to paint one of them. You know, I don't need to go to the internet and uh, copy somebody. I'm just going to start from scratch and do my own one, which I'm already started to do. So, <laughs> anyway, well, actually, yeah, see, well, we're here. Okay, more water. Let's start talking about this painting again. It's basically, like it says, 12 by 16 uh, canvas, hard plywood type canvas, covered with white gesso, of course. So, and this is basically oil on hard canvas. Ah, uh, you know, that's the medium I use. I don't really use too much acrylics or watercolors. I kind of like oils because I think they blend better. Even though there's zillions of artists around the world, like I said before, that use acrylic paints or, you know, uh, pastels or, you know, oil pastels or basically, you know, watercolors and stuff like, I just kind of like oils. Like, I, that's how I kind of got started. And, uh, you know, I, I just find that they blend better. And I don't use stinky turpentine. I only use linseed oil to blend my colors together because I really think that some of that stuff is dangerous. Uh, a lot of people use uh, like uh, odorless thinner to clean their brushes. I, I don't remember Bob. Remember Bob Ross when he used to flip his his after he do a certain section on his painting, and he would flip his uh, his the end of his brush on the edge of his uh, easel. He'd, he'd, be, he'd be flipping those little droplets of odorless 
bitter all over the studio, man. That to me, I think that's very dangerous. I what I normally do is I have a little jar of odorless turpentine, right? And I just put the, I just wipe my brushes off on the paper towel. Then I put them in in the bottle and just swish them around real gently, you know, just to get the paint off the the bristles, right? And then I I take the brush out of the little. It's like a little jar, and I just wipe the brush off on a clean paper towel. That way you don't have all those droplets flipping through the studio and stuff like that, getting in your face and your lungs, your nose, your clothes, you know. I kind of like to keep mine a little more cleaner. I think my method is a little bit better because I've noticed so many artists over the world, I've seen so many videos, they do that little flipping thing, you know, on the edge of their... Don't do that! That is so dangerous! That's why, that's why a lot of these people get sick. Because you gotta, you gotta have good ventilation if you're gonna use artist oils, and you can't be flipping those. You brush all over the place, man. That is so bad. It's my method is so much. I think so much healthier, and you don't get the little droplets flipping through the air, circulating your air and your your painting room, your studio, whatever. I keep my all contained, all contained in a little tiny, little like a little. Like a little screw, and I got a screw on top of you know, a cap on top of it, and I just cap it off at the end of the night and put it. You can't even smell it. it's inside, you know. It's just it's so much safer, I believe. So that's just my take on it. <laughs> you know? oh. Oh, I mean, I love all those artists and stuff like that. God bless all of them that passed away and everything. You know, they're the ones that actually inspired me, you know, to start painting the Bob Rosses, the Terry Redlands the Thomas Kincaid's and about five billion other artists from around the world and stuff like that. Uh, we all have our particular our particular style and our you know our take on painting but th this is mine really you know when I tell you about the orderless dinner not not to you might oh <laughs> it drives me nuts man. I mean I still watch those videos I go God stop flipping your brush on the edge of your easel man you're just spreading those that crap all over your studio man you're probably breathing it in too don't do that don't do that but it's too late oh God rest Bob Bob uh, Bob Ross he was he was my my idol I really enjoyed watching his videos in fact I still watch a lot of his videos on YouTube he still has a whole slew of videos they keep you know, running his videos left and right all over the world, you know, so that's kind of fun. And I watch the other artists too. You know, everybody, like I said, everybody has their own shtick on painting, their own, you know, their style, stuff like that, their medium, uh, you know, different size canvases, you know. I, anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, like I said, I'm not going to explain too much more to this painting. You can kind of see what's going on here a little bit, and it kind of gives you a general idea. Uh, when I first kind of started out, basically, pretty much where I was at early on in my uh, my artistic career, if you want to call it that. But like I said, I've I kind of like right now I kind of picked up. Like I said, I, I stopped painting in 2013, got into other type of videos and stuff like that. You all know my YouTube channels, and then I kind of picked up painting again. Ooh, maybe about two and a half months ago with my dark sh Shadowlands painting stuff like that. So I'm kind of getting back into that, like I just previously explained. So, you know, th things are going pretty good. I think I've already improved considerably in my my newest two paintings that you haven't really saw, except for the Shadowlands ones. Well, my hands are all red again. Look at that. This is a goddamn lights above. <laughs> this is making me look like, like, ooh, look at that. I look like some kind of a, like I've been baking in the oven or something. <laughs> oh, not really, I'm just joking. Anyway, we're going to shut this uh, video down, post it. If you like it, go ahead and please comment, subscribe, you know, hit the notifications if you want to follow my uh, YouTube channel, you know, thumbs up, stuff like that. Like I said, I've done four videos this week, and uh, this is my fourth one. Of course, I only work two days a week up at that job, so... Uh, I got five days a week just to kind of do what I want to do here in my apartment, paintings, other videos, stuff like that. And some of the other things I'm going to be doing too, like I explained on my rowing video a few nights ago, is I'm going to be making, I'm going to go out in the field with my camcorder 
and like maybe we got a lot of a bunch of local lakes here around uptown Minneapolis, South Minneapolis, and I'm just gonna just photograph a beautiful rainstorm, you know, with the natural sounds of the rain coming down, stuff like that, and I'm kind of gonna post those on my YouTube channel, you know, kind of like natural environment. Oh God, whatever. <laughs> Uh, you've seen a zillions of these on YouTube. You know, they have lots of people do winter ones. They do, you know, dark ambient ones. They do uh, rainstorms, babbling brooks, nature type photos with the, some type of music in the background. Or I prefer just to have uh, natural sounds of the rain coming down and the wind blowing and stuff like that. But anyway, that's just my idea, my take on that. But I'm going to get going, like I said. Uh, tell me what you think about this painting. If you don't like it, eh, well, there's not much I can do about that. It's early in my career, so, you know. <laughs> don't judge me on this one. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take off. Like I said, you guys have a wonderful night. Uh, tell your friends about me. Well, not really. They're going to think I'm some kind of weirdo. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> oh, anyway, this is, see, I'm here. Oh, see, oh, oh, yeah, there I am. Okay, we'll see you guys later. You take care and be safe. We'll see you in my next video, whatever that might be. Probably Sunday night, probably two, three nights from now.